Delegates, I'd now like to introduce uh, Greg Matthews to um, introduce the Mayor of uh, Dubbo, who will give us a presentation on where we will be next year. Thanks, Greg. Thank you, Keith. Uh, I'm Councillor Greg Matthews. I'm one of those rarest of things, a Dubbo person on the LGA. Um, <laughs> I'd uh, just like to introduce Councillor Diggison. Uh, Councillor uh, Diggison, Mayor of Dubbo, he was born and bred in Dubbo. He has uh, been a very successful businessman in Dubbo over the years and was elected to council in 2004. He's been Deputy Mayor for three other years as a councillor and was newly elected as Mayor in September this year. So I'd like you to welcome Councillor Diggison. Thanks, Greg. Good morning, everyone. I'm amazed we've got this many people here after last night. I think we would have had more chance of a quorum if we held it at the Albatross last night. It seemed like everyone made it to the Albatross last night. Uh, as Greg said, I am the new Mayor of Dubbo, and you can tell I'm new because people are still being really nice to me. And I'm not sure how long that goes on for. I'll get some advice from a few mayors around the, the room, but everyone's calling me the new Mayor and, and being nice, so that's, that's fantastic. So I'm still excited about it all, and it's all very new, and, and I'm, I'm learning so many things. I didn't realise, and I got some advice from the two former mayors of Dubbo, um, Alan on, on stage and, and Greg, who uh, announced me, about some of the things that I have to do. But I didn't know there were so many things that have to be announced and launched and presented. There's all these crown lagers to be drunk, all these hors d'oeuvres to be eaten. It's, it's a heavy job. But openings, I didn't realise you had to do so many openings. I feel like I'm doing opening after opening. The kids come home from school about to open their lunchbox, I've got to announce it's officially open. So it, it, it's a full on job. On openings, hopefully next year, when you come across to Dubbo for the conference, I'll be able to do the opening of the, the conference. There's a little minor matter of um, some little thing you may have heard of in September next year, a, a local government election. So, you know, I may not even be on council next year, but, but hopefully I'll be there and I'll be able to uh, uh, open the, the whole conference for you all. Uh, part of that will mean that, you know, hopefully all of you are still councillors there as well and be able to come across. The statistics say that about 23% of councillors turn over each election. So, uh, you know, I'm sure there's all good councillors in this room, but there's a small chance that someone might not be on council next year. So, don't wait until October next year to come to Dubbo. Come to Dubbo as soon as you can. And you can come to Dubbo in October as well for the conference. So, there's always that, that open invitation. And if you haven't been to Dubbo for a while, many people are aware of Dubbo, they know Dubbo. If you haven't been to Dubbo for a while, it's changed a lot. It, it's what I call now the new Dubbo. And we've had a great job over the last 11 years, I mentioned before, Councillor Greg Matthews was Mayor as part of that 11 years, and, uh, and Councillor Alan Smith, who you would have recognised on Sunday, because he received the Madness Medal on Sunday night, the 20 Year Service Medal. Those two have done a fantastic job over the last 11 years with unprecedented infrastructure growth in Dubbo. So if you haven't been to Dubbo for a little while, certainly come back. One of the amazing things about Dubbo, and people often think that if you're in a, a regional area, it must be about agriculture. The number one employer in Dubbo is retail. So we've got a great retail sector, but more importantly for the conference, we've got 3,500 motel beds. So everyone that comes to the conference next year will be able to sleep in a motel bed. So that's, that's a fantastic thing from a, a Dubbo perspective. So I'd like to see you come across. A lot of areas in regional areas now have got mining as a major part of it. We haven't got any mines in our LGA, so we've had to be very, not yet, not yet, <laughs> give it time. We've had to be very creative and very inventive, and we've actually discovered something new in Dubbo, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But one of the things I, I in discussions with the general manager, I didn't know I had to do this until only about a week ago, and I discussed it with the general manager, and I said, look, I can talk all day about Dubbo. I love Dubbo. I'm very passionate about it. He said, that mightn't go down that well with all the delegates. You know, they want to try and compress the time. So I thought the best way to do that was to write a poem about Dubbo. Now, the general manager's a bit scared about this because he doesn't know what I'm going to say. I can assure you, Mark, it doesn't have the man named Tucket in it. So it's, it's not at that level sort of poem. So if, you, if you know, with your um, permission, I'll recite a little poem that I wrote about Dubbo. It's called New Dubbo. First, I'd like to acknowledge our cities and country Wiradjuri. They're an integral part of our overall menagerie. You may not recognise Dubbo. It has a new look and feel. My excitement is quite obvious and impossible to conceal. I'm sure you've heard of our zoo. It's just turned 35. With its new entrance and new animals, it really has come alive. 
you can explore penal history at the old Dubbo jail. Eight ghosts are said to wander, but I think that's an old wives' tale. Our sports field are second to none, with a carnival every week, but that is not what makes our beautiful city unique. Three highways join at Dubbo, making us the gateway to the west, and our new LEP, if it's ever gazetted, <laughs> will allow developers to invest. With schools and TAFE and universities, we have an educational theme. The influx of students has certainly helped our rugby team. Most people assume regionals focus solely on agriculture, but we've discovered something new, and we call it culture. <laughs> it's uh, apparently with a C, not a K. I got that confused originally. Just to prove the point, we built the aptly named Cultural Centre. With its gallery and museum, you'll be amazed when you enter. We have a new 500-seat theatre. Of course, the seats are tiered. And the acoustics are spot on, as it was perfectly engineered. We have our shoyu and Japanese and sensory gardens. We believe they're the best in the state with no beg your pardons. Ride your bike along our river cycleway. Forget your automobile. Squeeze into your lycra and show off those buns of steel. But what is unique and will amaze beyond your wildest dreams is how friendly everyone is. We take it to extremes. A compliment here, a wave over there. Nothing is too much trouble. Our smile is so wide, you can see it from uh, Telescope Hubble. It's because we have something that can't be bought. We call it time. Our lifestyle is grand. It is great. I normally just call it sublime. So you see, we have so much more to offer than just our world-class zoo. And to top it all off, we have a mayor who thinks he's a poet too. <laughs> Thank you. So rather than just talk about Dubbo the whole time, I thought we might like to see some pictures. So Steve, if we can, we might roll a few pictures of Dubbo. So thank you to President Keith and the LGA for giving us an opportunity to showcase just a, a little glimpse of Dubbo. As you can see, it's, it's new, it's changed, and it's exciting, it's vibrant. It really is a town on the move. So I look forward to seeing you all. Um, hopefully, we, we had a great committee on the car trip on the way over who um, had, gave me a lot of help in councillors Griffiths, Mutton and Townie with that poem, so thank you to their help. 
and uh, we, we'll have a, a great time in Dubbo next year. I can't promise that I'll put a shrimp on the barbie, but I'll tell you what, I'll keep a beer cold in the fridge for you all. Hope to see you all next year. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, to our poet mayor from uh, Dubbo, uh, congratulations, uh, Matthew. Well done. But I'd like just to go back a little bit. A number of us in this room were at uh, the 2036 conference in Dubbo, uh, which had to be a great success. But that success really was made by the people of Dubbo. Uh, I've spoken to former mayor, Councillor Smith, uh, about the, the taxi drivers, how proud they were of their city and to make sure that we're all being looked after. Same with the accommodation of the motels we stayed at and where we went to eat. So I'm sure that we all will have a great time in Dubbo, Mr Mayor. Before I go, you've got a couple of real stylists here in um, Sh uh, Shellhaven, in uh, Josie and Kelly, who's working out there on your stall. And I would like to say, They've done a great job and done Dubbo proud, and I'm sure you'll... Of course, you can see them flash and move stuff everywhere. So I'm sure, I'm sure uh, we will all enjoy ourselves there, and well done, and I'm looking forward to Dubbo next year. Well done. Thank you.